All right, everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to go through editing the features area. And you may notice that there is nothing here in this features area, and that is because I removed it just to show you what it would look like. Now, the first thing we want to do is go to Appearance, and then go to Widgets. To get started in our widgets, we want to find our, our focus widget, section widgets, which is related to these. If you remember, we did the pound sign and focus for the section, set it up. And this is the section, the second one of the four, as you see here, the second one of the four that I deleted. And I did this just to show what it would look like. And by doing that, I just removed the content and clicked save. What we want to do to get images for this, for these icons, is first of all, you want to decide how many icons you have or how many I guess you can say section titles you want to have. And then we're going to go to Pixabay again. Pixabay.com. And the first thing that we're going to do when we get here is go to All Images and change this to be Vector Graphics. After we do that, all of our graphics should be, or almost all I should say, will be transparent. And although our background is white here on this scenario and it probably wouldn't matter you're not always going to have a white background for your images so it's good practice to start using these vector images when you can because you might not always have this white background now the first image that we're going to uh, use in my example at least is we're going to go for responsive design that's what we're going to search for and I like this image right here click on the image and then you click free download and in all of these examples for this we're going to say the smallest size and this size is a lot larger than the image size that we're going to need when we put it in here so we're going to need to adjust the size anyway but we'll start with the small one for now you click download the next image we're going to search for is make sure it's on vector graphics again now for our second example picture we're going to just type in website since we're making our websites and we'll just choose this image how about just for a regular old image and we'll just go to free download and hit save again and download after that second image our third image we're going to go for is we have to make sure this says vector graphics again it changes by default each time we'll go to Twitter and for this we will use let's just click this one here and free download and again we're going to save it as small I'm just going to use three sections in my example and if you want you can use four you can even use more than four I believe in this theme so it's really up to you after we have these pictures um, downloaded from here our next step is to upload them into the WordPress site so I'm going to go back to this section of the dashboard and then I'll go to media and click click add new after that I'll click select files and then I will locate the files that I need to upload they're going to be in the download section for me After you upload those three, you want to then go to the library section of media on the left. And we're going to need to resize these, as I said, to fit into these uh, placeholders here. And what we'll do is we'll click on an image and then we will go to edit image, just like we did earlier with the logo to resize it. And in this case, I believe around 95 would be the right scale for this it might be anywhere between 90 and 100 you might have to play with it but let's say we set it in our and then we find that we set it at 110 let's say and it's too big and you want to adjust it you want to go to restore original image and then click restore image to resize it to how it was because you don't want to lose any of the quality of the image so in our case we're going to make it 95 
by 62 and we'll hit scale and it will save automatically you don't have to save it again we'll X out of this one we'll go to the next image and we'll do the same thing go to edit image and then we'll make it 95 scale and then we'll X out in the upper right and again we'll go to our next image edit image and then we'll go 95 again and we'll hit scale now we might have to play around with these I'm not sure yet but we'll see how it goes next after we have those three images saved or more in your case more or less we go to appearance and then we go to widgets and now we want to go back into our focus section widgets and then this will be the first widget that appears parallax effect you see parallax effect with the text under it I'm going to write some text in here I'm just going to pause the video temporarily and write some text and I'll start it when I'm done and I'm actually going to do that for each of my three sections the our focus widget sections and I'm going to go into the fourth one here and delete that completely so now I have three sections for my three images I'm just going to pause the video as I said and I'll be right back okay so far what I've done is just added in the title text which will appear in this section right here and then I have also just added in some body text which will appear in here I haven't done anything as far as link goes or anything like that now to change our image we're going to click upload image and in that section let me just verify in that section we were talking about the responsive design elements so for responsive design we will click this again if you want to help help your SEO a little bit you want to title it accordingly and then we will click save after we get the image uploaded we'll click save and now let's check it out how it looks with the changes and there it is there's our first um, section right here in the features and it's responsive design I just wrote some text in here as well to fill it in next we're going to go over and we're going to change the image you have to see if you like the size of this image by the way and I think it looks okay it fits pretty well next we're going to go down to our next tab and actually something I'm going to do is get rid of this link uh, placeholder there which a pound sign is a placeholder for a link element um, in this one we're going to upload image and this is the website section so here I'm just going to change the name the section to say website for the SEO purposes and then we'll click Save and to view that we can see that it had no image there before and now it has a picture of, a, of the laptop that we wanted for website in social media I have some text here maybe I should make this text a little bit longer so it fits a little better as far as the length goes in relation to the other two texts there and I guess I'll do that real quick I'll go down here and I'll just write okay and I'm going to also delete the link placeholder again I'm going to get rid of the image and I'm going to upload the social media image that we have the Twitter one and again if you want to help with the SEO text you can do that I would fill out all four section sections but I'm just trying to be quick so it's not so repetitive for you guys we'll click Save and then if we go back to the site and we click update we can see that this logo is filled in I think this logo is a little bit big so if we want to go back and resize it we're going to go back into the back end here and we will go to where it says media and library again and we will click on this image and we'll go to edit image and now like I said we see that's 95 by 112 we're going to go here and click restore image so we don't lose any of the quality and now we're going to try this at 85 how about 85 by 100 and we'll scale it go back and now we go back into appearance and go to widgets 
and we locate our focus section widget which is for the featured one here and what we do is we go to social media scroll down and we will upload image to replace that one we can see that size has changed 85 by 100 and we click insert into post click save after that and now we will go back to the site see the size currently let's refresh it and see if it got a little smaller and it fits a little better than it did if you want to play around with that you can but that's the gist of how to do it if you have any questions about this section feel free to add a question in the support section on Udemy.